Uplighting and downlighting. Here's a couple of terms that people aren't very familiar, or they hear the terms but aren't always sure what we're trying to achieve. Um, and a couple of details here. This is going to be an example of uplighting. So what we're doing is we're taking what would be a plain and we're actually making the wall a part of your aesthetic element. What's nice about some about uplighting is for a lot of uh, installations or architectural designs, now before we used to use paint to get a different uh, look for the room. But now what we're seeing is more and more light designers, more and more architects are actually specking an entire room or entire building to be white inside and outside. And the reason for that is you can take a light, even during the day if I was to open up these blinds, I can take a light on a white wall and I can change the look of the wall at any time. This is great for a lot of pageants that we have in the worship industry. Well, there are a lot of, uh, we have Easter, and we have Christmas, and we have a lot of other designs and pa uh, pageants that go on throughout the year. So this helps us to change the entire look of a room. So this would be uplighting, and then in the back would be downlighting. So I'm actually taking a light that's lighting the wall behind you. You guys just take the room or put in the back. Very similar bars, they're a little bit different as far as the power, but essentially we're achieving the same thing, so that's uplighting and downlighting. Again, it's just highlighting through the details of strategically placing the lights uh, around the room. A lot of choirs like to use them, so you can light up the wall behind the choir. Which creates depth. Creates depth, right, so a lot of people use uplighting and downlighting in conjunction, so they'll have uplighting in the back, and then they'll have uh, downlighting in the front. So you're creating dimensions. So you could have a different color in the back and a different color in the front, usually again to light wires or bands and so forth. Here's an example. Of lighting. Downlighting. Yeah. You can see we're lighting up here, here. Sometimes up lighting can also be interchanged with accent lighting. I'm not really Just accenting the, yeah, anything yeah. more than the walls. Another thing about uplighting, and you're seeing a lot of that stuff and architectural exteriors outside of the building for signage, which is, I mean, the idea where you can take a sign and actually, during different events, change the color. And again, again it's all local, most of the stuff is LED stuff. 